Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed, I'm Joe Beretta. The extremist group that has been raising all sorts of hell across Iraq and Syria, which we covered here, known as ISIS, or the Islamic State of Iraq and Greater Syria, declared a brand spank a new Islamic State on Sunday, consisting of the territory they've seized in northern Syria and eastern Iraq. It's really not a big deal, except for the fact that the Sunni group's leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, is claiming that he is the successor to the one and only Prophet Muhammad, and as such is the supreme leader and overlord of all Muslims. He's all like, you a Muslim? You owe allegiance to me now. Pledge loyalty. I don't care if you're involved with other jihadist groups like Al-Qaeda. Just deal with it. He is now the Caliph, which is the head of the Caliphate, which is an Islamic state ruled by a supreme religious and political leader who claims to be the successor to Muhammad. This type of rule has been absent for dang near 100 years, and this is the setup that extremist groups like Al-Qaeda have been hoping to set up for years because, you know, they're... There ain't nothing like all-encompassing power over a people. So what's the first thing you do once you claim total dominion over the Muslim world? You change your name to the Islamic State, going from ISIS to IS because redundancy is unacceptable and blasphemous. Now what does this all mean? Welp, according to others who know way more about this stuff than yours truly, like the Daily Beast's J.M. Berger, it depends on how the world reacts. They are in direct competition with Al-Qaeda, but this bold move could sway some of their members to jump ship and pledge allegiance to the IS. Or the IS hubris could leave a horrible taste in the mouths of other extremists resulting in the strengthening of other extremist groups. Also, will this move inspire any non-violent radicals to jump on board? What about the impressionable young Muslim youth? Hater al Kuwait, a specialist on Iraq, told Time Online, if they're a caliphate now, a lot of people possibly living in America or Europe, the ones who are already radicalized and inclined to join them, it's more of an impetus. Maybe the publicity stunt will affect recruiting in that sense. There'll be more eager young volunteers excited by the sense that it's here now. It's a reality now. So at this point, we have a very bold claim from a small group, but it's a small group that seems to be gaining a lot of momentum. So going forward, it's going to be interesting to see the response from the international community, the Muslim community, and from the ranks inside the radical insurgents itself. So guys, click on the links down below for more information because there's a lot of it, but you should take it in. But in the meantime, do you think this announcement is the start of a new era or a bold move soon to be forgotten? And after you're done with that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the annotation for more stories. I'm Joe Beretta. Thanks for watching SourceFed.